Love, health, love, wealth, love, happiness, love, love. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, 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 Freedom Nation. What a truly great day to be alive and adding value into people's lives. Yes, we truly are real people helping real people. My topic for today is, are we pushing hard enough? If not, should we be? A Facebook friend of mine, Mikhail Livshitz, had shared this parable with me once. It arrived just when it was meant to help me in my life, and maybe today's the day that it will help you in yours. I decided to share this anyway with the full expectation that it will provide that benefit to you. To all fellow seekers of truth and wisdom, the same benefit that it did for me. So the parable goes... A man was sleeping one night in his cabin when suddenly his room filled with light and God appeared. The Lord told the man he had work for him to do and showed him the large rock in front of his cabin. The Lord explained that the man was to simply push against the rock with all his might. So this the man did, day after day. For many years he toiled from sun up to sundown his shoulders set squarely against the cold, massive surface of the unmoving rock, pushing with all his might. Each night the man returned to his cabin sore and worn out, feeling that his whole day had been spent in vain. Sensing that the man was showing discouragement, the adversary, Satan, decided to enter the picture by placing thoughts into the weary mind. He will do that, you know. You have been pushing against that rock for a long time and it hasn't moved. In this way he gave the man the impression that the task was impossible and that he was a failure. These thoughts discouraged and disheartened the man. Then Satan said, Why kill yourself over this? Just put in your time, give just the minimum effort and that'll be good enough. So that's what the weary man planned to do. But he decided to make it a matter of prayer and take his troubled thoughts to the Lord. Lord, he said, I have labored long and hard in your service, putting all my strength to do that which you have asked. Yet, after all this time, I have not even budged that rock by half a millimeter. What is wrong? Why am I failing? The Lord responded compassionately, My friend, when I asked you to serve me and you accepted, I told you that your task was to push against the rock with all your strength, which you have done faithfully. Never once did I mention to you that I expected you to move it. Your task was to push. And now you come to me with your strength spent, thinking that you had failed. But is that really so? Look at yourself. Your arms are strong and muscled, your back is shiny and brown, your hands are calloused from constant pressure, your legs have become massive and hard. Through opposition you have grown much, and your abilities now surpass that which, you, that which you used to have. True, you haven't moved the rock, but your calling was to be obedient, and to push, and to exercise your faith and trust in my wisdom that you have done now I my friend will move the rock so just think about this at times when we hear a word from God we tend to use our own intellect to decipher what he wants when actually what God wants is just simple obedience and faith in him by all means exercise the faith that moves mountains but know that it is still God who is doing the moving. When everything seems to go wrong, just push. When the job gets you down, just push. When people don't do as you think they should, just push. When your money is quote unquote gone and the bills are due, just push. When people don't understand you, just push. Pray until something happens. There you go. Pass this on to all who may need it. 
your loved ones, your friends, anyone looking to you for guidance or inspiration, they may get it just in time, like it did for me. Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. Friends are like quiet angels who lift us to our feet when our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. Namaste, my friends. I bow to the wisdom of the spirit within you. Let's get out there, overcome and break through the mind obstacles that have been placed before us and make a positive difference in people's lives. Namaste, my friends. And to all my Italian freedom fighters, Ciao!